guys! Today I'm reviewing the Aroma Electric Walk. This unit comes in a 5 quart model and a 7 quart model. Aroma sent me a sample of this 5 quart model. The unit with the cover and the base measures about 9 inches tall and 18 inches across. The walk itself is 13 and a half inches across. The electrical cord is about 34 inches long and it should not be used with an extension cord. The wok is cast metal and has a non-stick coating. There are long chopsticks included that you can use to stir your food. Don't use any metal utensils since the wok is non-stick, only wood or plastic. This large tempered glass lid is included. The lid has an adjustable steam vent. You can use this to control the moisture in your food. Also included is a steam rack. If you want to make tempura, use this tempura rack to drain your food after frying. The instruction manual has a few recipes for beef, pork, chicken, fried rice, and shrimp. The temperature probe can be set from 200 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. The probe gets plugged into the base. The probe has a trigger release that should keep the probe from detaching while you're cooking. After the unit cools completely, unplug the probe. Don't wash the probe, just wipe it down if it gets dirty. The base is detachable. Take the lid off. Turn the wok over. Press this knob down. Turn it to unlock and just lift up the base. You can see the heating element here to put the base back on. Just line up with the bottom, press the button down, and turn to lock. Now the wok, base, lid, and all accessories are dishwasher safe according to the manual, but I really don't feel comfortable putting this in the dishwasher because of the heating element on the bottom. I just use a sponge and warm soapy water and it's very easy to clean off this non-stick wok. The base I just wiped down before using the wok for the first time, wash it in warm soapy water, dry it really well, pour a tablespoon of oil in, and wipe it all over the wok. Wipe the excess off. This is just to condition the wok. Now you can start cooking with it. First, I'll try making chicken with green beans. Plug in the temperature probe to the base and plug the cord into a wall outlet. And turn the dial to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see the orange indicator light is on. Always just match up the arrow with the temperature. When the indicator light goes off, that means the wok has reached the set temperature and we can start cooking. When you're cooking in the wok, make sure you have all your ingredients ready. I've got some green beans and red peppers, chopped ginger and garlic, chopped scallions, cut up chicken breast that I've mixed with some cornstarch and soy sauce. I used two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I'm gonna pour about two tablespoons of oil into the wok while it's heating. I can see it's getting really hot. You can hold the handles and swirl the wok around if you want to get the oil everywhere. The wok is smoking right now and the indicator light has still not gone. Okay, there it goes. The indicator light just turned off because I turned the uh, dial to 425. I think this is really hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking. I'll put my garlic and ginger in. I'll put the chicken in right away because I don't want the garlic and ginger to burn. You turn the heat back to 450. I will finish cooking this in the sauce and green beans in a little bit, so I'm gonna take the chicken out. The handles are cool still. Everything just slides right off the wok. I'll put in some more oil and put the green beans in. Some of them are getting a little crispy on the outside. Now I'll put the red peppers in. Put the chicken back in. 
and all the juices from soy sauce. I like to put these whole red chili flakes. Just gonna break one off and a little bit of sriracha. Smells really good. And it looks beautiful with all the colors. Now I'll cover it. Lower the heat to 350. This just needs to cook for about two to three minutes. It's been three minutes. Add the scallion. And I'm going to turn the heat off. The chicken that was closest to the center has more of a char. It's a little bit brown. You can see it's got some brown there. So obviously it is hotter in the middle. Um, the heating element is, of course, right here. So it will be hotter in the middle. Everything looks cooked. I'm just going to go ahead and taste it. The green beans are cooked perfectly. The chicken is cooked too, I can see that. Chicken's nice and soft and delicious because of the uh, cornstarch and soy sauce marinade. The peppers are cooked perfectly also. This is absolutely perfect served over white rice. And it's definitely better than takeout because you made it yourself. So you saw how quickly we made this delicious dish. This is enough for three servings, and you can see how much space is left in the wok. It's a good size to make a meal for your family. I like to wipe all the grease off the wok first, and then you can wash it in warm soapy water. There was some splatter on the handles and the outside because the wok was very hot when I put the green beans into the oil. Now let's try steaming some broccoli. To steam the broccoli, I'm gonna pour in some water, about a cup, put the steam tray in, and I'm gonna boil the water first before putting the broccoli on the rack. I'll turn the temperature knob to 450, put the cover on, and wait for the water to boil. It's nice that the lid is glass so you can see what's going on inside the pot. I'm using about three cups of fresh broccoli washed and cut up into big pieces. I can hear the water boiling, that was really quick. Water's come to a full boil. I'm gonna put the broccoli on. Cover it, and I'll check on it in a few minutes. It's been about three, four minutes. Now, if you like it very crisp, it's done. I like it a little bit more cooked. I'm just gonna cook this for a minute or two more. It's five minutes total, and the broccoli is perfectly cooked. So in about seven minutes, my steamed vegetables are ready. It took just about two minutes for the water to boil, and five minutes for the broccoli to steam. Turn the unit off. To clean, wait for the wok to completely cool down and then unplug the probe. I like to wash the wok in warm soapy water. Make sure to dry all the parts thoroughly. As you saw, the wok worked really well on the chicken and vegetable stir fry and in steaming the broccoli. If you wanna try this wok out, I put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video and subscribe for more reviews. Until next time, thanks for watching.